This tutorial is part 5 of a series demonstrating how to use the PSOC Creator UDB Editor. In part 4, we configured an instruction selection in the data path. Here, we'll create component level outputs to bring signals outside of the component, and then we'll generate a symbol file. To add outputs to the component, use the properties area on the right side of the UDB Editor. Click in the name cell under Outputs and type the output terminal name. Click in the Expression cell and type the letter T to display a pull-down menu. Select TC to connect this terminal to the TC output we created in the data path. Then, click in the next row. Create a Compare Output Terminal and connect it to the CMP output in the data path. All named signals in components can be used in component level outputs or component variables. Now that the output terminals have been added, we can generate the component symbol. Right click on the UDB Editor Canvas and select Generate Symbol. Because we already have a symbol in our component, a message displays asking to save the changes. Click Yes, and the Symbol Editor opens showing the updated symbol with any inputs and outputs that we have defined. If we make changes, we can regenerate the symbol as many times as we need. Switch back to the UDB Editor, make a change to a terminal name, regenerate the symbol, click Yes, and the Symbol Editor shows the updated symbol. In the next tutorial, we will place the component in a design and build the project. For more information about the UDB Editor and creating components, refer to the PSOC Creator Component Author Guide.